have new details into the future of Israel's longest serving prime minister. That future in serious doubt tonight. Benjamin Netanyahu is vowing to fight the toppling of his government by a former partner who has just enough allies on his side to take power. CBS News senior foreign correspondent Elizabeth Palmer explains this complex new coalition. This is a real blow to Benjamin Netanyahu, who's now been the prime minister of Israel for a record 12 years. The man who looks likely to replace him is the right winger, Naftali Bennett, a former defense minister and successful software entrepreneur. But he's going to have to share power with other party leaders, the powerful centrist Yair Lapid and the man on the right here, Mansour Abbas, from an Islamist party representing Israeli Arabs. Now, this is historic. It is the first time an Arab party will join an Israeli governing coalition. When the deal was announced last night, anti-Netanyahu crowds danced in the streets. During the election uh, in March, they had mobilized to highlight the fact that the prime minister was on trial for corruption and fraud. But Netanyahu has equally devoted supporters who believe that he's kept them safe in a hostile region, and they applauded his response to rocket attacks on Israel in May by Hamas with a major military operation that left parts of Gaza in ruins. A word of caution, though, this epic political fight isn't over yet. Already, Benjamin Netanyahu is doing his utmost to undermine the coalition before it takes power. He tweeted this morning that legislators who are going to have to vote on it next week should oppose what he called this dangerous left-wing government. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, London.